I learned building boats from a guy in Grenada. That was about in 2000 when the badge started coming to Lyo to pick up sand. And he decided he wanted to build a boat to start doing fishing in Dominica. He asked about who in the village he can check to build boats, to build a boat with him. And in the meantime, he's not there, then I will be responsible of the, the boat. Then the passion for, for boats start kicking in because the only thing I knew was mechanic and riding bicycle, that's all I knew. I built that first boat with him. While in the process, we get a job to build a bigger one. And after he leave, I build one for myself and then people find they like it. So I start building for people, building wooden fiberglass only. The, the first help I get from the government is when I build my first boat, my pal rep assists me with some fiberglass material. That was the first help. And then the second big help I get from them is by the listing the property for me, making it possible for me to provide that high quality boat. And I can say so far the government have been really on my side because as of now I've been applying for the Fisher's Duty Free to purchase a, a heavy duty vehicle for hauling this boat. Normally for the year, I'd build maybe about four, three, four boats for the year. But the year just started, I've been seven already. So I can say the, the government have been there. And after I finish this boat I'm doing right now, I have four boats to build for the government. They give me five months to do that, but five months is too much time. I will do that within three months for them. Well, the NEP contacted me while I was still at the Gilayo Riverside to train several guys and a, and a young girl to do fiberglassing. And after the, the three months training was up, I keep four of them for about three, almost four months working with me. And right, right now, I have one of the trainees working there full time. Well, my biggest setback was the hurricane. After I invest in the, in the building, the whole roof, the whole structure, everything was destroyed. But I watched the hurricane as a positive thing because it created a lot of work, although there were a lot of people still in distress or still unhappy, but it's a good thing on your end. Well, the, the plan for the, the business is to build boats at the, the highest quality, then I can start manufacturing boats for the Caribbean fishers. And that will be good for, for export, for the export market. Have something that we could export from our own country. And the, the other part of the business, we're doing fish packaging. So at the front of the other business, we packaging fish. So all that is the, the big um, plans I have for expanding and trying to have more workers so we can provide more boats at a shorter period of time.